What is a simple way to let a command run for 5 minutes? Is there an easy way to let a specific command, only terminable through Control C, run for 5 minutes automatically? For example, or any other command that does not terminate itself. I'd like to be able to specify a time limit, not only 5 minutes. There are, at least, two programs that provide this functionality. Name. Time limit, effectively limit the absolute execution time of a process. Synopsis. Time limit, PQ, S killzig, S warnzig, T kill time, T warn time, command, arguments dot dot dot. End. Name. Timeout, run a command with a time limit. Synopsis. Timeout, option, duration command, arg, dot dot dot, timeout, option. They are packaged as follows. Comparison. Notes Timeout always uses SQL as its last resort signal. Timeout does not have any functionality to exit with a signal when the child program does so. The exit status of the two programs differ, but that's hard to summarize neatly, so I suggest you consult the manual pages yourself for that. As timeout is installed on more systems by default, CoreUtils is a standard package in many distributions, I suggest you use that unless you need the extra functionality provided by time limit. Actually, this is what timeout is for. Pure Bash built-in, without core utils. I found that this solution works in Bash relying on a built-in command without calling an external executable. It works on system where eventually are not even been installed the core utils, 1. Explanations, as usual when you send a command in the background with an AMP, its PID is stored into the internal variable dollar. Present in the modern version of Dash, CSH, Bash, TCSH, ZSH. What really makes the difference among the shells is the presence of the built-in command read 2, and of the option T. In the first version if the user will not complete a line of input before the specified amount of seconds the instruction will be terminated, and an error return code will be generated. T timeout calls read to timeout and return failure if a complete line of input is not read within timeout seconds. The second version works as the first but you can abort the killing timeout just pressing enter. Indeed the OR operator vertical bar executes the kill statement only if the read command exits with a return code different from zero, as when the timeout is expired. If you press enter before that moment, it will return zero and it will not kill your previous command. CoreUtils Solutions, 1. When CoreUtils are present on your system and you have no need to save the time and the resources to call an external program, Timeout and Sleep and are both perfect ways to reach your goal. Timeout The use of Timeout is straightforward. 
Eventually you can consider to use also the K option to send an additional kill signal if the first fails. Sleep. With sleep you can use your fantasy or take some inspirations 3. Note that you can leave your command in background or in foreground, for example top usually needs to be in foreground. Explanations In the fourth version you execute in background your command then your shell sleeps for 5 minutes. When it will be finished the last background process, dollar, will be killed. You stop your shell. In the fifth version instead you execute in background your command and you store immediately that PID in the variable dollar PID. Then you execute in background a nap of 5 minutes and its consequent command that will kill that stored PID. Since you sent this group of commands in background you do not stop your shell. You need to store the PID in a variable because the value of dollar can be updated by an eventual execution of another program in background. In simple words you avoid the risk to kill the wrong process or no process at all. In the sixth version it is called a new bash shell that will suicide itself in 5 minutes via dollar. Then it is executed your command that remains in foreground. In the seventh version it is invoked a subshell, that stores its PID in a variable, kundpid, and kills itself with another subshell sent in background execution, then run your command in foreground. Of course in each version you can send the kill signal you need, from the default one to the extreme, kill minus 9, to be used only when really needed. References 1. The Core Utils 2. The Bash Beginner's Guide 3. The Bash Vac For your particular case, most implementations of ping support C or count terminate after a particular number of pings. For a more general solution, see the other answers.